Hey yo interneters, welcome back to another video and today we are going to learn a new pin trick called the index back around. Before we begin, I want to give a shout out to Afla for suggesting that I learn this trick. Afla basically made this video possible, so thank you. If you want to be responsible for what I learn next, please leave a comment down below. Remember, it doesn't have to be about pen spinning. If you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe and like button now for more content. Also. Remember to ring and ding that bell while you're at it. That way you won't ever have to wonder if I ever posted a video. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So if you're interested in learning this trick, there are four steps that you need to know. Step one is how to hold the pen. So take the pen and hold it between your index finger and middle finger. Then you want to take your thumb to support the end of the pen. While you're holding the pen, make sure you're holding the pen near the tip. That way the majority of the body is facing away from you and contains most of the weight. This is how the pen should look when you're holding it. At the same time, you want to make sure your palm is on its side. Moving on to step two, which is turning your wrist. So starting off when you're in the correct holding position and your palm is on its side, you just quickly turn your wrist to where your palm face down. This is an actual clip of me practicing or trying to practice when I was first learning this index back around. I had a lot of fun with this step because as you can see, or at least how I saw this step was me trying to whack my other hand with this pin. So yeah, this step only took me about two minutes before I got very comfortable with turning my wrist and attempting the pin to go over my index finger. So once you got your palm facing down, we're moving on to step Three, which is bending the middle finger. If you notice when you turn your palm from its side to your palm facing downward, the pen attempts to go over and around your index, but it doesn't, right? And that's because your middle finger is stopping it from going all the way over. Right? So in order for you to prevent this from happening, you want to bend your middle finger as you're turning your palm downward, right? And once you're able to do that, the pin should roll over your index finger. For this step, I spent roughly 10 minutes trying to get it down or trying to learn it. So I wasn't too focused on catching the pin at this point. I was more focused on trying to get the timing on my wrist and bending my middle finger down. So that was the struggle that I found the most difficult. Sometimes I was bending my fingers too late and the pin wouldn't go over or roll over my index finger. But eventually, eventually I got very consistent with the timing and bam. Finally, we're moving on to the last step, which is to catch the pen. So once you got your pen to roll on and over your index finger, you catch the pen by extending out your thumb and letting that pen flop right on the thumb and come to a hard stop. So once you get all that step down comfortably, you can combine them all together and it should look a little something like this. As mentioned before, I had a lot of fun learning this new pin trick. And at the end of the day, that is what it is all about. Make learning fun and have fun while learning. I spent a total of 14 minutes and 46 seconds and dropped the pin 223 times. I basically went from this to this. The before and after of it all. Remember to continue your growth and learn something new so that you can go and wow the crowd. 
I hope that these videos help you in learning some pin tricks or maybe even get you into pin spinning. I don't know. But most importantly, I hope that it motivates you to go out and learn something new. If you haven't already done so, please hit that like and subscribe button for more content. And remember to follow me on my social media. The links are below.